Hello everybody, it's Adam from Adam's Mockups. In this video, I will show you how to create this half tone effect inside of Adobe Illustrator using any logo or any piece of text. I will be using this IDA logo that's been blowing up on Instagram recently. Let's get right into it. So first I'll bring in the logo from the internet and drag this in. Currently, this is a PNG. As you can see, I zoom in and it goes blurry. So I want to first vectorize this graphic. So to do that, I want to press image trace and press OK. And it is now turn this into an SVG. If you find it hasn't done a perfect job, then you want to change this setting to high fidelity photo. Once this is complete, press expand, then press ungroup. I'm going to move this onto the gray so it's easier to see. Now that it is ungrouped, I can delete my white background. So I'm just deleting this. Now, if I try and delete these parts, they don't actually delete from the black bit. You easily cut this out by just selecting both and pressing this button down here in the pathfinder section press this and it will cut it out do the same for the a we are now ready to get started to create this halftone effect first apply a blur go up to effect blur and gaussian blur or gaussian gaussian blur i'm going to set this to around nine and press ok once you have applied this blur you want to go up to object and press rasterize leave this all as it is and press ok once this is complete the final step go up to effect style Stylize, pixelate, and color halftone. Now you want to set all of these to 0, 0, 0, 0. And this top option is the max radius of your circle. So if I set this to 80 and press OK, then here are the size of my circles. Now I can go back in and change this just down here. If I press color halftone and say I set this now to 100, then they are going to be bigger. Now you need to remove the white background once again. So I'm going to move this up here you want to press image trace again set it to high fidelity photo press expand and ungroup delete your white background ignore all these white parts for a second this bit will need to be cut out again like before just press this cut out button with both of them selected and finally you want to select the magic wand tool to select all of the black click on one part of black and it will select it all and you can now move this out of the way from all of these little white parts select them and delete them press like on this video if you did enjoy here's me just making a few more examples to design your own custom clothing check out my clothing mock-up videos but i have been adam thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one